Welcome to Electron Online. Now that we know the general equation of a line in three-dimensional space, how do we derive the parametric equations for that same line? So let's go back to writing the general equation. It's the difference in the x values between any point in the line and a given or known point in the line divided by the x component of the parallel vector. And that should equal to the ratio of the difference in the y values divided by the b component of that vector and the difference in the z values divided by the c component of the vector. In other words, the point x sub naught, y sub naught, z sub naught is a known point on the line. x, y, z is any point on the line. And v is defined as the parallel vector to the line which has components a, b, and c for the i, j, and k components. Or the length of that vector, the components are a, b, and, j, and c for the i, j, and k components. So now we're going to introduce a new variable. Let's call the variable t. We can call it anything. t, s, you name it, doesn't matter. And that variable t represents the ratios of the change in the x value between two points on the line divided by the length of the x component of the parallel vector, the change in the y components divided by the length of the y component of the vector, and the difference in the z components of the two or the z coordinates of the two points uh, divided by the length of the z component of the vector. In other words, delta x is x minus x sub naught, delta y is y minus y sub naught, delta z is z minus z sub naught. Divide each of those deltas by a, b, and c, the x, y, and z uh, components of the parallel vector. And then we're going to let t equal the ratio. So we said t equal to this, t equals to this, and t equals to that. Since all these three fractions are equal to each other, we have a single variable, t, that can be set equal to all three of them. So this could be considered the parametric equations of a line in three-dimensional space. But let's say that we're going to rewrite it like this. We're going to rewrite it like the three ratios set equal to each other, and all of that must therefore also equal t. So you can see that t is simply the ratio between the change in the x, y, and z coordinates of the two points on the line divided by the length of the x, y, and z components of the parallel vector. If we now take one of these equations, for example, this one right here, write it again over here. We then cross multiply with the a, so we have x minus x sub naught equals a times t, and we move the x sub naught over, we can now see that x is defined as x sub naught, the point on the line, plus the length of the x component of the vector, the parallel vector, times t, where t is that variable that represents the parameter that we're going to deal with to represent all of these uh, components, x, y, and z. So we do the same for y, we do the same for z. So this could be the way in which we write the parametric equations. So either we write the parametric equations like this, or we write the parametric equations like this. What we're doing is we're simply representing one more variable, t, that is simply equal to the ratio. Could be t could be one half, could be a quarter, could be two, could be five, could be ten. It doesn't matter. As long as the vector is parallel to the line, that ratio will always be the same for all three coordinates, x, y, and z. And so we can therefore write the parametric equations in terms of the ratio of the changes in the x coordinates of the two points divided by the length of the coordinates of the parallel vector. And that is how it's done.